if you scream one more time, I'm going to kill her, I'll make sure you go to jail. I will arrest you. You understand that? Okay. But I don't, don't have a gun. It's not like where you're sitting behind a desk and doing the same thing day after day. You come to work in this line of work, you don't know what's going to happen, and you don't know what challenges you're going to be faced with every day. You have to make split-second decisions. Just rely on a lot of common sense and knowledge to do this job. 53 Adam at 3116, don't hold up alarm. We're about to call where they're saying a male black is trying to break into a, uh, a blue van. He said he's tried to break into a few cars out there. Somebody said now that they heard shots fired that he's possibly armed with a gun. And uh, it's right here at the Salvation Army that we're pulling up on right now. Yeah, he's probably. Uh, complaint's going to be out in the parking lot trying to check the vehicles. 32, I'm 97. 10 4, you want to get to a minimum? Uh, not this time, I don't see anybody running. 10 4. What's that? He's in the blue Cadillac. Blue Cadillac, right there. All uh, right, 32, I got him in the car here. Um, we're right off Joseph. Stand by, I'll give you a tag. Oh, you're the TPR clear, clear the air. I don't. That's a female. That's a female in that car. Um, right next to the Salvation Army in this little housing project. I don't. There he goes. Stop. Hello. Back heading towards Lane Gardens on Joseph northbound. God, where'd they go? She got run through here. There he is. There he is. There he is. Get on the ground. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on! Get on the ground! Get you! What I do? What I do, man? I ain't done nothing. Nothing. Why'd you run then? Go, y'all grab me, man. For no reason, I pulled the run. We didn't grab you. We chased you. I'm talking about y'all from the head, cut me in the head, like for no reason. All he's doing is talk to you. Everybody that go to Joseph and Grace. Oh, man, it ain't necessary, man. Why'd you run? Call me, man. When we tell you to do something, you do it. You don't start running from us. Roll back, Joseph. man, on me, man. Real. What's up, dog, man? You go look in the air. Ain't no gun back there. Ain't got no gun. Best in yard back there. What are you running for? Huh? What are you running for? The dog's had a hand for me for no reason. Always doing is talk to you. He ain't asking no question. He ain't asking no question. You just a hand cover me. Pat you down and then you. For what home. though? What you, what you pat me down for? For what? Walking up that street? Because you match the description of somebody cars. breaking into cars. Who are all? You match the. Driving. Listen to me. You match the description of someone okay. breaking into a car. I don't even understand, man. I'm right here on the ground for no reason, man. Sir, let me explain one thing. You match the description, we stopped to ask you a question, and you ran from these officers. Man, the reason why I ran, man, because I was like, man, why they handcuffed me for I ain't done nothing? I'm walking up. We didn't handcuff you until about two seconds ago. That's what I'm saying. And that's because you ran. Well, yeah, because you ran from the police. You. That's why you're handcuffed now. That's why I told you I ran, because I ain't done nothing. Why are you, why are you tearing you off your shirt, shirt and stuff while you're running? Because, man, he tried to grab me. He had the hat on, everything yeah. told the script. He tried to grab me. Uh, I think you were breaking into cars. I ain't breaking no car. Well, we'll find that out when we got the witnesses over there that saw you. Huh? We got witnesses over there that saw you, so. Did find the weapon? Well, I ain't got no pistol. Did he just find the weapon? He said weapon. Okay. If he don't say anything, He's got a gun? Where are you coming from? Your, Your uncle's house? You live right across the street. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. 
I'm walking up the street. Y'all gonna pull, y'all gonna just hang up me like this. I'm walking up the street. No, you were being stopped and asked questions. You were being detained for questions. They didn't ask me no questions. Because they were trying to handcuff because you got you ran too quick on us. How are they going to ask you questions when you're running? He was walking down the sidewalk real casual and we walked out in the middle of the road as we were approaching. We stopped Guy Vic and told him to come there and he was real hesitant. That time we got him with his hands behind his head and legs stretched out. He kept trying to bring his leg in, stand up straight. Put his hands behind his back, getting ready to cuff him at the time. Took off running. I grabbed his shirt. He kept running and ripped his shirt off of him. Just laying back in the street. He ran all the way down through Lane Garden, came back through the alley, and that's when y'all jumped behind him. He matched the description, right? He matched the description to a T. He had the same shirt, blue shirt, blue pants, gray and blue hat on. I guess it was him since they found the gun. We found the gun right over there beside the car. It was the Lorsen 9 millimeter. Loaded, the was loaded on. So it just dropped it when we pulled up on it. There was an entrance out this way when I came up here. He wasn't expecting anybody to turn and looked at me and I just told him to get on the ground. He did. I think I surprised the heck out of him. Yes. He surprised me as much as I surprised him. Yes. The streets are safe. 43 to 41. We're coming your way. We're about a block away. We're going to a, uh, it's probably going to be a civil matter. A lady from one of the motels is calling us. She's having trouble getting people out of a room. Another officer is already on the scene, so we're going to go over here and back him up and make sure he doesn't have any problems. We have a uh, female on the property who's been warned repeatedly to stay away, and uh, she runs a prostitution uh, set up here out of this motel. Uh, one of the maintenance people has observed her on the property and they think she's in one of the rooms now, so we're gonna go and see if, in fact, she's here. Along with our prostitution in this, we usually get a little bit of a ratty rock, which is crack cocaine, along with other types of paraphernalia and activity. So we're gonna go in here and see if we can shut her down and get her out of business for the night, at least. Who was just getting out of the tub? I just got out of the tub. Where were you hiding? Yeah. Dressed quickly, didn't you? And my clothes right there. Yeah, my clothes. Yeah. 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 Here she is. Yeah. Show me your hand. Yeah. Show me your hand. Other hand. Yeah. Come, on out. Yes. Come on out. Come on out. Come on. Don't, stuck. don't. I got to go. I'm stuck for real. Oh, watch my hand. I told you I'm stuck under here. I ain't mine. I'm stuck. Oh. Everybody else up under there? No. Stand up. No, no. Oh. Put your hands behind your back. One of my wrists is broke. Don't you say that she wasn't here? Well, she had been long. Oh. She, <laughs> she had. She hadn't been long. This time. No, she Where's your crack pipe? Oh, right. But you just told us that she wasn't here. She's got clothes here. Them my clothes, them clothes. Them you, wear clothes? Clothes? Them you wear women's clothes? You wear women's clothes? Them clothes. How often do you wear women's clothes, Otis? Them my clothes. You got women's clothes in there? I don't care what it's them belong to me. I wear them with Well. Then I gotta go back to call it, you know, I don't know. How often do you wear women's clothes? But I don't wear women's clothes. Well, why, why are you the women's, women's clothes, clothes here? Huh? Why are the women's clothes in here? But they, they, oh, what, I live with them. I live with them. Oh, you left for one? I thought I left for one. You left for one? Well, we can see that. I didn't for one. But you told us that she wasn't here. I can't even get out of the bathtub so she could hide from me. Honest, I mean, you sitting here and you tell us that she's not here and you coming out of the bathroom. You, you know, what? what's really interesting is that you got dressed awful quick for somebody coming out of the bathtub. I just got in. I just got out of more. Didn't you just say that you just yeah, got out of bed and get out of it? Why did you tell us that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now she was in here, right? Yeah. 
She not supposed to be here, right? I don't know. They ain't told me she was. Otis, Sam, and Karen have told you she wasn't allowed on the property. I just spoke with Karen. Well, well, what, 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 what did you just tell me about down there? Say something about what? What are you talking Sam about? Sam mentioned to me about it. Sam and Karen told me I just got off right. the phone with you. Put Paul, put Paul the hand right back here. Paul. I just put Paul got hand off back the phone with Karen. Karen. Put, put the hands behind you, Otis. You were smoking a pipe in the bathroom. You weren't taking a, you weren't taking a bath, you were smoking a pipe. I don't even smoke pot. I don't even smoke pot. No. Well, it wasn't pot, it's crack. I don't smoke crack. A little bit of ready rock. I don't smoke no crack uh, You don't take baths either. Yeah, I do, sir. Uh, you, weren't, you weren't just in the bathroom. I don't mess that dope, sir, sir. I don't mess that dope. You were told on the phone last week by Sam, were you not? Did you not speak with Sam Day all on the phone last week, Penny? Huh? What did he tell you? What did he tell you on the phone, ma'am? He told you to stay off the property, did he not? Yes, he did. All right, then you are trespassing. You are not welcome here. You've been here seven years, and you don't know that she's not supposed to be here? Can you say anything to me about it? I told you not to mess with me, didn't So what I? you're saying is this property guard here is a liar. No, I ain't calling no liar. Well, you got to be calling her a liar because she said, you know, she's not supposed to be on the property. And you said now that you don't know anything about it. So who's telling the truth? You are. I got $50. He says he's got $50 in his pocket that says that you're lying. That pocketbook right there. I didn't say that. That's that you're a liar. Okay, well, that's fine. You owe me 50 bucks because I'll go call Karen and Sam right uh, now. All right, Otis, you're being charged with possession of drug paraphernalia. She's been charged with trespassing and possession of drug paraphernalia. Close enough for you? Because I know it's not your pot. That's what you're telling me. Of course, you also told me that she's not telling the well, truth, I, I, and you I, I, told me that she's not in the room, and you told me that you were taking a bath. And... I was fixing to take a bath. Oh, fixing to take a bath. I'm sorry. I was totally... I, I thought you said I was just getting out of the bath. That's what I heard. I heard I'm just getting out of the bath. Yeah, it's come, come. He was mistaken. But the good thing is, everybody qualifies for citations. Let's go out in the parking lot and do some citations. Cut them all loose. Lost, bigger than dog food. <laughs> so that stuff was in your bathroom, and you don't know it was there. I don't. I don't. I don't mess it. No. So you think Penny might have brought it in? No, I don't. I don't bring it in. Because if Penny didn't bring it in, and nobody else borrows your bedroom, somebody's got to bring it in. This girl that's in this car. It's not allowed on this property. This lady over here has told her repeatedly she can't be on, she can't come visit you. No, she's getting a citation too. Now, if she comes back in your room and another one of these crack pipes show up, it's gonna be it's gonna be in your room. All right, we'll see you. Take care of it. I know. Take care. Okay, we're going back inside your room now. Okay, we'll see. Okay. He knows she's not supposed to be there, and she knows she's not supposed to be there, so hopefully we got our point across this time. I think sometimes suspects on the street think maybe they can get one over on me because I'm female, but I think more than that, they worry that if they challenge me, they might be taken down by a female. And I think I probably get in less fights or less physical force situations because I'm female. I'll be transporting one uh, female juvenile white from this location, 1333-1712. We've been dispatched on a uh, domestic call where a subject is supposedly trying to break into a window. 425B. Team Boy 1, 97. You got a call. The uh, lady lives here, says her husband was uh, kicking on the door, trying to get in, threatening her. We've had problems out here before. Uh, came out here a week ago. He's saying she's hitting on her. She's saying he's hitting on him. So, see what we can do. Okay. Uh, what was it? You came out here. Was the door closed? What's the deal with the door? The door was shut. This door or this door? Both of them were shut. He was, he was uh, banging on the door and he wrecked this one. I can't shut it. Then he almost had this right one. Right here where it's bent. Uh, you can't, you can't pull it up to here. 
And uh, this one here was almost kicked right in. Stand by. This, this deadbolt was almost kicked in. So he, he, he pulled, jerked this door open and then started kicking this one yeah. in? Yeah. And then he said when he got in, he was going to beat my head in. And this happened just before you called today? Yes. He got, did he come inside? No, he didn't get in here. How did you talk to him? Did you come, did you come outside? I was going, yelling at him through the door to get away and go on back to his mom. Yeah, let's talk to him. What's the deal? What's the deal? What's the deal? Ain't no deal. It's her. Were you trying to get into the house? No, I told her I wanted to come in and talk to her, and she said she was going to shoot me with the gun. And she's got drugs in the house. Playing with my old man up there. Is it, is it a law because I'm married to her? She's going to play games with me and shoot at me? For nothing? Is there a gun got, in the house? You got her. Is there a gun in the house? If it ain't in here, it's up the road where the old man lives. What, what are you doing coming around here if, if she's all Because she was strong? my wife. I wanted to talk to her. Well, if she's doing drugs and messing around with 83-year-old men. Yeah, she's got a bad problem. Well, then what are you doing with her? You need to get away from her. I don't know. Stay with your mother. Your mother's trying to take care of her. She's got a bad problem. She took my money last week and threw me out the door. Did you kick in the door? I didn't kick in the door, though. The damn kids around here kicked the door in. No, I mean just today. That's why she says she called us out. The kids did that a couple weeks ago. She's blaming it all on me. They done that beating the door over there. She's laughing at me because she knows it's, it's wrong. She pulled a gun on me a couple weeks ago and told me if I didn't uh, go to sleep, that she's going to shoot me. Y'all got a big thing over there with the crazy woman. My son was up here the other night and stood on the porch. She was drunk. She was on crack, nerve pills, pain pills. And he come home and he said, Mama, they're up there and the child's playing with itself. And the old man's on the couch playing with himself. And all she wants me for is a baby shit. Ma'am, ma I'm more cool listen, than you. Listen, listen to what yeah. She says that he's violent towards her. He's crazy, man. Well, just hold on a second. And he says that she's violent towards him. Okay, so I can't go and believe her, but I can't go and believe him. I she won't leave him alone. Well, she's that, man crazy. She's not in her right. He keeps coming over here. He keeps coming over here. Uh, if I got somebody put a gun or tell right. me, you got a right to go to there's jail too. There's 50 blacks up the street. They're gonna cut. As soon as she says that you hit her, then you'll go to jail. I didn't, go to jail. Her. I didn't she say did. whether you did or didn't. She, did. she ain't gonna beat you no more till I'll kill her. All up and down I'll my keep one in your mouth and you'll get locked up too. Okay, they already checked off that. All right, I told you about that. Enough of the threats. So what you saying? I'm gonna care of a psychiatrist. She's nuttier in hell, but she can get by with it, but I can't. Don't yell at me. I didn't mean to yell at you. I respect yell at you. Your voice I, off. I'm telling you, don't yell at me. And whether she's lying or telling the truth, she's gonna go end up signing a warrant on you and you're gonna get locked up. Or she's gonna come down and find you and you'll end up telling a liar tell the truth because she's hitting on you and she'll get locked up. So why don't you just stay away from her? And if you say, well, I've got a right to see her, that's fine. You see, do. You and you've got a right to get locked up, too. If you scream one more time, I'm going to kill her, I'll make sure you go to jail. I will arrest you. Do you understand that? OK. But I don't, don't have a gun. She's got three in there. I don't even own a gun. Yeah, no, man, it's just a bywork. Throw down banjo. It's a bywork. It's cute. <laughs> the old man's got the gun. You got him and her. It, it, it doesn't matter. It's not against the law to own a gun. Are you going to keep coming over here? I'm going to get your nephew, Billy. Be quiet for a second. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Be quiet for a second. Are you going to keep coming over here? Do you want to keep living with this woman? No. Not after what, she uh, that, does move on. That you just said no. Okay. Why don't you load up and go home and not come back over here? Because as soon as you come back over here, we're going to get called back out here. Do you understand me? me when I go down the road. Well, if that happens, you go home and you report that to the police. See right here? I'll let what she done to me last week. Why did you call us in? Because she begged me to come back over, crying and whining. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's she tells some story. I'm not making different rules for you than I'm making for her. All right? Equal ground, OK? Yeah, I know. All right, listen to, listen to what I'm going to tell you now. I told her that if she's standing out here in the yard and she sees you walking down the street, she needs to turn around and go back in the house. OK? And not talk to you. BB gun shooting me in the No, 
no, no, no. She's going to not mess with you. Now, if she comes up to your house where you're staying and starts messing with you, call us. Okay? Yep. Is that fair enough? Yeah, I got right. no. Okay. Okay. Right. See y'all later. Well, hopefully those two will stay apart. I know if, if they're back together, we'll be back over there. Hopefully they'll take our advice and get an annulment and go their separate ways. 911 emergency. Hello, um, this man just hit my mom over the head with the bat and okay. she's bleeding. Ma'am, is, she st is he still there? Yes, he lives in these apartments. He lives at the very end of our block. Okay, what did he, get, what did he hit her with? He hit her with the bat. Okay, what I want you to do is stay on the phone while I get my officers en route, okay? Okay. <laughs> We're en route to a, uh, a battery with a deadly weapon, which is a bat. Apparently, uh, person who's calling says his mom was hit with a bat by a white male adult and his mom's unconscious right now. Yeah, med medical's arrived. What happened? The guy is in the apartment. This end apartment? That's what they say. Who did this? In the apartment. Who is he? He hit her with a head with a bat. I heard it from inside. Where's he at? You find him? And and what's he look like? Old man. Old man mustache. End apartment. Open that door before he locks it. It's locked. What's he wearing? Is he wearing a tank top? Is this guy right here? Is he skinny? What about this right here? He was with He stayed there with That's one of them. That's his son. Come on out. Out to the door. That's his daughter-in-law. There he is right there in the chair. He hit her. I seen it and everything. I heard it in my house and looked at him here in the head. Right there in the chair. Stand up. It's a black bat. Stand up. Turn around. Have a seat in this chair. What's your name? Hello? Fred. Fred? What happened, Fred? What happened, Fred? I got a bunch of people tried to start a fight with us. Where's your ID? Don't worry about where my ID. Where's your ID? Don't worry about where my ID. Fred, where's your wallet? Don't worry about it. What do you what right do you have coming here in my place? Because I'm the police. With? And we got a problem here. Oh, you're the police. And you're the problem. Yeah. Did you hit somebody with a bat? Nope. Nope. How come everybody says you did? Well, I don't know what your ignorant ass doing here thinking I hit somebody with a bat. Come on, Fred. Let's stand up. We're going outside the door. Show your foot. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Let's go this way, Fred. Watch this way. I got this way. Were you here when it happened? I was sitting right next to you. You listening up, Fred? Because right now you're making things worse because you won't talk. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know what you ever had? You had a bunch of people get on you? That's what I'm asking. So you need to tell me what's going on so we can figure this take out. Take me to jail, All right. dude. Just take me to jail. Stare at that, Fred. In front of her house. Why he get there and run walk down here? Her daughter and she got up because we trying to me a bitch. My mom stuff like, you know, every trying to be all right. Everything's trying to be all right. And hit her. He just hit my mom and said, nothing's smart to him. She's not going to die, right? No. What did the medic say? She's talking right now. 
What, what's your condition? I'm not exactly sure. She possibly has a depressed skull fracture. Can we get a new tell. set of skins for you? Maybe a neck injury. What does that mean? That means that he might have broken her skull. I can't tell because I can't palpate all of her hair, but potentially she's pretty sick. Where are you going? Okay. Thanks. Fine. Yeah. See you, Hey, you ready? Yeah. Trying to figure out what happened here tonight. She's got friends that comes over and she keeps doing this stuff. What, what did they what do? What am I going to do? What did they do to you tonight? What they do to me tonight, they come over they try to, ins they to get it down with my family, you know, and they're saying. Doing what? Tell me some of the things they're saying and they're doing. Well, look at my son. Look at my son. Okay, what about yeah. it? Talk. Did you get his ass whooped? Look at Fred, it. I don't know. I wasn't here. That's what I'm asking. I need you to tell me that. I can't read your mind. And he has something behind his back, but we couldn't see it until he got right here. And she told him, she's like, well, what are you coming down here for? We're all neighbors. Go back to your house. We can just, we all have to live together. We have to get along. And he's like, F you, you effing bitch, and all this stuff. And he called, started calling her a bitch. So she stood up and she said, just go home. Just go home. And she said, we're neighbors. And she stuck her hand out like this. And that's when he just swung the bat at her, threw like full force to her head. And she just automatically fell to the ground. She go unconscious when she went down? She was unco unconscious for a couple seconds. What seems to be the problem with, with him? Is he got something right. against you guys? Yeah, it's just, I think it's, I don't know. Man, but I, I think, think it's race. <laughs> because we every like, time. We go out with black boys. Yeah, and every time, the Jesus, conversation that I had with him the other day, he said, what color are you? And he held up my arm and everything, and I said white, and he said, well, then act like it or something. And then he was calling us lovers and stuff. And we was like, man, just go in the house. Just go in the house. If you're going to drink, just stay in the house. Don't come out here and mess with us. He was like, do you lovers and all this crap. So we just, we try to ignore him, but there's only so much that you, you can, can you ignore. Can so what's the whole story? Well, he's going to go to jail for battery with a deadly weapon for hitting her upside the head with that bat. This is going to be a hot spot for a while. The race relations not being good here. I guess that's what happens when you mix alcohol and hate together. Right. You get somebody hurt, somebody's going to jail. He's lucky we got here in time to take him in custody and get him out of here. It's ironic that he goes to jail in a black and white police car. I guess that's just how it is sometimes. Yeah, you still have your strong pocket of Italian right in the middle of the third district. You have your Italian market. You have, you know, all your Italian restaurants. Down on the lower end of the district, you have an influx of, you know, an Asian community with uh, Cambodians, Vietnamese. Okay, here we go. We got another one of those disturbance house calls. Again, they're the most dangerous for police to go in on. And uh, I don't have any case history on, on this particular house. Police. Open the door. Hey, I, you need a barrel cage here? Let's go. I'm not going to ask again. What's the problem? Oh, uh, nothing. What's the screaming about? Huh? What's hey. the screaming about? Oh, just if I uh, find out, that's all. What's going on? What's your name? Holy. No, hey, 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 hey. Let me I see your hand. Your yeah. All no, right. you take it out. You take it out. Okay, man. What's going on in Holiday. here? It's all right. Oh, what's yeah, going on in here? So, my husband. I fire him. Yeah, what's going on? Anybody else in here? I fire him. What's his problem? Uh, I fire him. He wouldn't be a 
you know that's a... What is his problem? <laughs> I fight him! He, uh, he ring... Oh, wait, he ring... I fight him! Uh, I fight man, you! Dude. You talk! Man, I fight you! Know. Who does he want to fight? <laughs> Nothing. But a uh, man fight him. Why do you want to fight her? I I fight her! Why? Why? I had a ball fight. I fight her. <laughs> no, no, it's her! What's the problem? He lied! Why does he want to fight you? Uh, I had a ball fight. Yeah, I wait. fight her! Um, today... <laughs> yeah, you had a ball fight. I fight you! Today he ring me, but... I'm fighting you! Calm down. We're not going to leave him in here uh, with you like that. Uh, either either okay. you're going to leave or he's going to leave. Don't We're not going to leave you both here like this. Oh. He has to calm down. You want to leave yeah. until he calms down? Oh, no. He, he calm down now. No, no, no. One of you are leaving. No choice on that. Okay, I'm telling you. Later. I am no. telling you. That's no choice. One of you are leaving. Now, we don't want to lock him up, but if he doesn't walk out of here and calm down, he's going to get locked up for his own well-being for eight hours until he calms down. All right? And explain to him that he's going to have to walk outside and go take a walk around the block. Okay, I walk outside. Go ahead. Tell him. I'm, I'm the guy. We're letting him walk out of here without getting locked up. Now you can tell us what's going on because. Uh, no, to the, me and her, he must win, you know. Together. I understand that. But uh, today he ring me, you know. But um, I have a job. I don't want him to ring me, you know. But I you, didn't, you, you didn't want him here? No, I, I don't want him to ring me. No, yeah, well, I said. I said Vietnamese, I have custom do that. You have what? Vietnamese sick, you know, I sick before, but Vietnamese sick has custom do that. Feel better. When you're Vietnamese and you're yeah. sickly, they, they, put, they mark you like that? Yeah, feel better. That wasn't done by him? No, no. I don't like that. Well, I'm going to tell you what, hon. They look, uh, they look mighty fresh to me. No. I don't know who you think you're trying to, but I don't think you're getting, you ain't, make, you ain't making it past me with that. Nothing. But just talk later, fight. Well, the neighbors were saying that uh, you, a lot of screaming was going on in here. All right? I don't want to come back here tonight. Okay, thank you very What's his name? <coughs> Who? No, don't look at it. What's his name? Uh, me. Okay. All right. Well, they just don't want to be cooperative and tell us what the problem is. I'm 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 He's already at one. I'm not gonna take you home. I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna take you home. The only place I would take you is the jail. Yeah, I go to jail. I like it. Oh, no, okay. Yeah. Put your hands up against the wall. Put your hands up against the wall. You want to go to jail so bad? Put your hands up against the wall. Put your hands up against the wall. You have any needles on you? You have any needles on you? You stay out of here. Oh, play them guns, I go Man, we gave him his chance. He didn't want to. He didn't want to cooperate with us. Please, don't do that. Well, it's his choice. And we're not going to take a chance with him being like this with you. This particular woman didn't want her man to be taken away. She was willing to risk physical harm for him. So since she wasn't going to be the complainant in Pennsylvania, you know, whenever we go to a disturbance house and it looks like there's a possibility of bodily harm, we are compelled to lock up one person. And he needs a little cooling off time anyway. Clark County Detention Center is one of the largest modular type jails in the country and we're getting bigger every day. The majority of our problems during the last few years have been overcrowding. We are right now just absolutely filled to capacity. This facility was originally built for about 865 single room inmates. Our count today was 2019. So, as you can see, we're running out of room. We now have inmates on cots upstairs. We have them everywhere. Booking this area that you see right here is becoming a nightmare. It's becoming more and more volatile. As you can see, we've got plenty of business. Crime is alive and well. Ow! Hey, 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 you guys relax on the cuffs a bit, please. I'm being good. I'm being good. I'm being good. You guys relax a little bit.
Come on, guys. Head up. Look up at the camera. Sit down. Come on over here. Ah. Ah. Damn. The markers are thrilled. Sit down. Ah. Lean forward. I thought I was cooperating. What did they arrest you for? Because I told him to write himself a ticket for riding down the street at night without a light. Oh. Jackass. You waved him down to tell him that he didn't have a headlight on? I told him to write himself a ticket. On his bicycle? That's right. Were you on a bicycle? No, I was working. You were working? So you just had to say something to the sergeant riding down the street, huh? Yes, I did. Now I understand why you're here. I have a camera, Mom. Good look up here. You gonna know on the bench? Come on, She's you'll be cool, right? Yes. That's her. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Stay right 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 here.
Mike, take him out of here. Go. Are you done? Yes. Take him with him. Yeah. 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 Take him out of here. Take him out of here. Cuff him and take him out. They're becoming more innovative in the kinds of contraband that they're bringing into the facility and the way they're getting it into the upstairs area, the security area of the facility, even though they go through strip searches, even though they go through showering. It's not unusual for us to find pens, but one of the officers in looking at this pen discovered that it was a little bit more than a pen. Uh, that's nasty, nasty. And I'm just very grateful that we got a hold of it before somebody wore it. Getting that into an overcrowded cell, built for maybe 30 people and you have 65 people crammed in there, that could easily, easily have caused a homicide within the facility. Well, I come from a large law enforcement family. My dad, his five brothers, and two cousins were all officers here in Kansas City. Three on the Kansas side and four on the Missouri side. And I knew as a toddler what I was going to be when I see my dad coming home in uniform. And uh, I'm fortunate enough to be able to have been hired. And I like my job. My family supports me. And uh, that's basically how I got into it, kind of in my genes. 1045 at uh, 20th and Walker, no tags. 20th and Walker, 1236. Uh. 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 There we go. 119, the uh, car I'm trying to stop is going east on. New Jersey from uh, 18th Street, occupied by three black males, 1085. 19, backup code A, they bailed out. Whoops, car, black male, going uh, north, just east of. Uh, 12 copy code A? Just east of. 18th Street, black male, white tank top. We're going northbound still, east of 18th Street, north of uh, Wood. Where you at, Mike? North of Wood on 18th, 18th Street. See, east of 18th. 18th. Just north of Wood. Guys on the east side of the road on 18th. He's probably passing Garfield right now. <laughs> it's going to be a blue over white Oldsmobile, I believe. Coupe, two door. Just to check. Anybody run in here? I've been running here, I'll walk again. 18th and Troop. I just tried to do a traffic stop and they bailed out. There was no car pursuit. Right. Uh, just drug paraphernalia. As we were chasing the guy, he was reaching his back right pocket. He was probably going for dope to pull it out and throw it down as we were chasing him. We can't find out if it's registered or not right as of now, so I'm running the VIN number. I'd say the way that they uh, bailed out of the car and let it roll into the tree, it's probably not their car. Drug paraphernalia there. He was reaching his back pocket as we were running, so probably had some dope, either that or a gun to match the bullets, I don't know which. Well, the guy that just uh, got out of the car and ran from us, he uh, forgot to take his ID with him. This uh, matches the paperwork that's in the car on his address. 
and uh, looking at it, there's a positive ID okay, now. Going to get this officer to go with us and run by the guy's house see if we can't uh, take him into custody. 19 myself and 117 will be out at 1838. Well, I was a little disappointed that this guy got away because we gave a good foot chase to him and uh, it went quite a ways. And I thought he was gone for good. Wouldn't be able to catch him, no information on him. So, uh, mistake on his part, it's going to cost him because I'm going to get this guy. Please. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Can I talk to you for just a second, please? Sure. Can I step in? It's awful hot out here. Sure. I appreciate it. Um, you all can come through. Okay. I, mean, I don't care. I don't Thank care. you. I appreciate it. No, you guys can come through. Okay. I'm, the baby's I'm, asleep, but now other than that, you can come through. Do you know Donnie Walker? Or Donnie, uh... Donnie, that's probably who you're talking about. Yeah. That's my son. Is that, he, he don't stay here? No, he doesn't live here. Okay, because I got his car, and I just need to release it to him. That's fine, but I, I mean, you know how I can get a, here. you know how I can get a hold of him. He called me earlier today, but I can show you the phone. When he calls me, he calls me anonymous. Okay. He, he never even calls me. Oh well, I can't. We'll see you while ago, I uh... When he phones me, let me show you. When he phones me, see that? That was him. He phones me anonymous. Where do you think he might be staying at? I mean, he's just in the world. He, he his lifestyle. He, he fools with people that I don't even let come in my yard. Like what kind of people? Like they, they look. All I know is I, I call it street like. Mm -hmm. That's all the the name that I give it is street life. Mm -hmm. And I tell him he wasn't raised that way, but he chose that life, so I let him have that life. Mm -hmm. But they look streety to me. Their pants are all down. And when he lived here, he didn't dress that way. Well, you the seem like a real good mom. And you're nice lady. I appreciate your help by letting us in and talking to us. But it's uh, pretty important that I get a hold of him. I want to talk to him. Like I said, I got his car. And I need to release it back to him if there's any way possible to. You know, Doniel is one of those children where Doniel probably figures that if it, if it is some trouble going on, mm. Doniel figures I would tell you. So why would he tell me? OK. You know, the neighbors will, will verify the kind of person I am. They'll tell you I'm the kind that would turn my children in if something was wrong. Okay. I believe you. You know? In that case, when you see him, let him know that uh, when I catch him, he's going to go to jail. Okay. Went to college to be a pilot, ended up in the military. One of the jobs that was open to me at that time was a military policeman. I did get exposed to the, this type of work and found out I really liked it. So I got out of the service and started doing it full time as a as a police officer. Going to a disturbance on 29th Terrace. Evidently, somebody's parked their truck in their neighbor's yard, and now they're refusing to move it. So we're going to go over here and see if we can't get him to move it and see what the circumstances are behind it. There's a bunch of folks down here. This is probably it. Yeah, we see you, partner. What's up here, Bob? Who called? Why don't you, she uh, put, put the, the chain, chain down. down. No, put it down. There you go. That's what he had. Who had? That's what that guy had. What do you think? I'm, I'm sitting here asleep. Man pulls up in my driveway, hollering for my you girlfriend. He pull up in the driveway. He pulled up the yard. Uh -huh. He comes up to the yard. His name's Jim. And he comes up to the yard, beating on the door, running his mouth. I told him to leave. The man didn't leave, so I punched him in his mouth. He pulls out the chain, mm -hmm. and then he threatens to beat my ass with it. Okay. okay. So I beat his ass, and he runs off. Oh, okay. You guys. So, All right. Well, I know. just wanted to well, make a report well, of it in well. case he comes back. You asked him to leave, right? Yeah, he pulls up and drives away. Then he threatened you? Yeah, he threatened okay. to beat my ass. That's why I hit him and knocked him back down the stairs, and that's when he grabbed the chain. Okay. All right. Um, if he comes back or something, just give us a call. Okay. I mean, because okay. I don't want to keep getting harassed. Well, I understand. All night I understand. This guy was swinging the chain at this guy, and this guy yeah. was bending into him. He's hitting it with the door. He was hitting the door with it. Okay. He swung the chain at the door. Okay. And, well, we may have the guy at the station, so we're going to go down there and check it. Did you hear that? 
What's that? Assault victim at the station. Okay. We're gonna go to the station and see if it's him. Yeah, it yeah. is. It is. He said he was blood. <laughs> I told him he hit his head on that uh, fender of that truck. I told him he was pretty bloody. Face is a white male, older and balding, wearing a white shirt with blue stripes. Yeah, that's him. Twenty three forty eight. Okay, hold us out there in regard. Thirty four to the station. Twenty three forty nine. Y'all gonna be here where we can come back and contact y'all? live here and they live there. Okay. Hey, partner. Partner. Hey. Will you sign a complaint on this guy? All right. They're saying that, that the guy jumped out of the truck with the chain first, ran up and was beaten on the door. Now nah, we'll come back. Evidently, uh, a victim, a supposed victim, or possibly a suspect from this last disturbance that showed up at the station. We think it's him anyway. Matches the description, and he's trying to report an assault on him. When actually it sounds like he's going to be the primary aggressor, and he decided to duke it out with this guy and call him outside, and this guy came out to defend himself in his house and everything to keep this guy from tearing it up. And actually, the primary aggressor sounds like he's the one that got whooped. So we're going to go over and see if we can't get the other side of the story. And quite possibly, we're going to make an arrest out of this deal. Probably the guy that's at the station. What's your name? James. James. Yeah. What's going on? I went over to get this girl. She, she ran off and hid. And, uh, Who is this girl to you? Well, I wanted to... Who's this girl to you? Is she your girlfriend, wife, what? Well, she was, but yeah, she was, and she What's disappeared, what? my girlfriend. Uh-huh. And we was talking about, uh, you know, getting married and having a child and uh -huh. throwing it together and everything, uh -huh. and and she, you know, she got all freaked out and everything, and, and I went over there and uh -huh. I said, come on, you know, let's go. Uh-huh. And, uh, hell, this big buck-ass naked, some bitch, he, get, he, he jumped up there with a knife, and I reached back and truck and uh, grabbed Chopper's chain. And this other guy from down the road came up and just laid me out. How would you react if somebody pulled up in your yard with a truck and oh, pulled up? Now, hang on, okay. let me finish. Okay, I'm wrong. And, and started calling this guy out, trying to take his girlfriend or pick a uh, fight with him. Her, her and I was talking. I'll tell you what, I'm much push anybody back in a wrist. Fair enough. Play throw your hand. Okay. He's got a huge dog with him. Okay. Is it in the, the car? Uh, leave in the truck. Get any guns in the oh, car? Can't leave your dog in the truck. He got hit in the head with fists. Okay. That's what the neighbors are all saying, fists. No damn fist. He's got some bumps and bruises and some scrapes on him. Can you check him out? Come on, there. A little bit. We got a call over on 29th Terrace. And uh, evidently this guy came over there and drove up in their yard. And his, his, his ex-girlfriend is dialing with another guy over there. And he goes over there and says, you're coming with me or else. He starts going beating on their door with a chain, like a like a dog chain. And the guy comes out of the house butt naked. And this guy says, I'm gonna, I'm gonna whoop you. This guy says, he's gonna whoop the other guy. And the other guy goes, I don't think so. And, well, he got the worst end of it, but he started it, so. Oh, okay. All right, you can do it for trespassing, quite possibly disorderly. Welcome to fight. All right. And we got animal control coming up to the dog. We'll probably leave the, the truck here for right now. Let's give him the opportunity to bond out. I was not messing with the man. What were you messing with? Just marijuana. Marijuana. Yeah. Well, yeah. as far as tonight goes, it sounds like you've uh, learned a pretty valuable lesson by going over there and messing with that guy, huh? Well, uh... You ain't gonna, in other words, you ain't going to do it no more. At least, yeah, no, uh, no, not by myself, anyway. I, no, I, uh, no, no, so you don't understand. Yeah, no, we're cutting you some slack here, making a bond you where it. you can afford it. Right. Now, I don't want to. I don't want to hear about you going back over there tonight, okay? Not me. Or any time for that matter, because trust me, it's not going to be hard to figure out if something happens to them people or something goes on over there, or who it's going to be. Well, I don't have. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. What it ends up being is this guy went over there tried to resume a lost love, I guess, with this girl, and she's already found her a different man. She wanted nothing to do with him, and uh, he tried to pick a fight with that old boy and, at his own house, which isn't a very smart thing to do. And basically, he got whooped. I mean, he picked a fight with a bigger guy, and he lost. A lot of people ask you why you want to be a police officer. Uh, you could give them the generic answer, you know, protect and serve the community, uh, and that's fine, and there's a lot to that. Uh, for me, probably the 
the real reason uh, I'd call it the you know the thrill of the chase uh, when the you know dispatcher calls you and that hot tone comes out and the next thing you know you're chasing a a bad guy with a gun and to me that's what it's all about. We got a vehicle here we're gonna check out. What in the world? What is that guy doing? Chevy truck. Copy. 45 that vehicle at uh, second central. What are we doing? Nothing. See him when it gets the car there. We'll be out at Market and Woods Weather. No, you lean over here. Are we down here working? No. Huh? I want Mark to lose this. No. But you can go get something to eat. Well, produce me some ID. Uh, I don't have any with me. What's your name? Gina. Gina? Gina what? Are you married, man? Yes. Does your wife know where you're at? Huh? Does your wife know where you're at? No. Uh -huh. Are we practicing safe sex? No. How do you know him? you where you were working, is that that's what's going on? Yeah, it used to be when I was working there. We just went and got something to eat right now. Just come in? Uh -huh. <laughs> this... That's gonna be great when my husband finds out. So you're married? Yeah. How long have you been married? Seven years. Seven years? So you say you're supposed to be at work right now? Yeah. I'm going to do a bank run. Where you live at? In Missouri. And you're married? Yeah. Does your wife know what you do? No. How often do you do this? Fairly regular? No. No. What do you think your wife would do if she found out? Probably leave me. Probably leave you. And you're out here having unprotected sex with a well-known prostitute. She said that uh, they gave her 20 bucks and then they wouldn't aid on that. Do you have kids that live in the house also? No. Well, lucky for them. Unlucky for your wife. How many times have you been arrested for us? Huh? How many times have you been arrested for us? Uh, for this? Yeah. I, I was over, I played it, uh, it was a joke over in Kansas City, Missouri. I knew it was a stakeout when they first fired this. They was advertising over the TV. And I stopped by and I was joking with this lady. And she was a, a cop. Yeah, frame, right? Huh? It was frame, right? No, I wasn't framed. I'm not oh. saying I was framed. Okay. You want to call your wife for what? So she can make that last bank run. Okay. Does she work with you then, or what? Well, she, this is her bank run. It's what? This is her bank run. Her bank run? Yeah, she makes a bank run. All right. And I was doing it because she went. What, what does she have to deliver? Uh, she picks up checks. All right. And takes them and get processed. Well, since you've been cooperative, we'll go ahead and let you. Anybody else that can come pick it up? No. Hello, sweetheart. Uh, yeah, I better not call you sweetheart. I got arrested. No, I'm not kidding. Kansas City, Kansas. You got you gotta make this last run. Sweetheart, sweetheart. You're gonna have to make this last run. She hung up on me. I don't know her personally, but uh, officers have constantly ran her, found her down here. Um, she's usually on the Missouri side soliciting people. Um, 
I've heard her name ran several times, and I've seen her on Missouri side. I've never personally talked to her myself. But uh, this is a very bad spot as far as prostitutes go. They always, they always stand it right down here on the right on the um, the Missouri-Kansas line. That way, if they see a cop from either side, they can just step across the line, and and we can't do anything about it. Put your hands behind your back. Okay. Is there any way I can make this last run and come back and turn myself in? What's that? Could I make this last run and turn myself back in? Boy, Mary. I mean, go, go. I'm serious. I, I mean, don't, I... Don't move. Sir, you should have thought about that before you came down here with the hooker. Now that you get caught, now you want to change what you did. This gentleman admitted to having prior sexual offenses. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of guys you run into out here soliciting these prostitutes, most of them are married, like this gentleman. We're gonna go ahead and book him in jail and at least get him off the streets for a little while here.